Okay, here we go. Ooh. Hey guys, it's May May and my other trusty sidekick. Hey, Amanda here. Amanda's here. Uh, Mr. Vince almost said Uncle Vince. <laughs> Uncle Vince had to take his daddy to his doctor appointment today. So Vince has gone to take his dad, and we are here. And I bet this is going to start talking. Give me a second because I forgot to mute this one. Uh, let me get my mouse working and mute it. Okay, there we go. So, yes, he is not here with us today because he has gone to take daddy to the doctor. So y'all be praying about that. So it's me and Mander, but we're going to do some fun stuff, and it'll be easy, and you'll have a good time, and you won't miss him at all, will you? <laughs> We have a new moderator. We have a new moderator today. Miss um, Kathy Champion is now a moderator. You see that by the little wrench beside her name. And if Molly comes in, um, she is also going to be a moderator. We need to get her set up. And I was hoping if she's here today, we can just make that happen. So if you have any questions today, put them in all caps for Amanda so she can see your questions. And um, here's what we're doing today. We're just playing. I I just did not feel like measuring today. So we're playing. We're just going to have fun. Um Oh, glad to read your brother's much better. I just saw that and I was like, my brother. Yes, your brother. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. And thank you, Miss Kathy. I love you too. Oh, how sweet. All the love. Mm, it's raining in Jersey. Not raining here for once. We've had our fair share of it though, y'all. Our fair share. So, <laughs> which have I wanted to use the most? These or this? <laughs> Probably the first Probably one. these. Okay. I'm going to say this is an excuse for me to get to use these. Look how stinking cute these little red Solo cups are. Are these the cutest things? So, I really have. I've seen these at Dollar General and at Dollar Tree and at different places. And I have wanted to use these for a project for the longest time. So, today, I needed some little cups. And I sent Caleb to our Dollar General. And he came back with two sizes. These and another. But I finally have a reason to use these. Are they not the stinking cutest things? So, that's not really what we... We are using those today. <laughs> but we're going to do some paint pouring with the pre-mixed pouring paints. Now, I have a little bit of bad news. Not really, though. I'll show you. So, this is a new product that's come out this year from CHA. It was introduced at CHA, and I ordered what I could get at the time, and I could get those three colors. Now, they brought out, um, I think, two more color sets, and there is a starter kit we can get that I didn't know existed. So, I'm going to be ordering that starter kit. Here's why. There's a product that they include in this that's called, um, oh, what is it called? Now, I forgot the name of it. It's, it's what makes it kind of break up and give you that cool kind of... Um, kind of um, striation in the color. I forget what it's called, but it's a mix in that you can put with this. I cannot get it. It's on back order till May, but in the starter kit, we can get it. So I'm going to be ordering the starter kit. So if you haven't already ordered these, you might want to wait and get that starter kit that's coming in. And I ordered the other color so we can have it as well. So I have four different colorways that we're going to use today. And we're continuing making ATCs. Here's my inspiration. These were given to me on the cruise. I want to make sure I don't have personal information on the back. So Barb Thompson gave me these. She's from Minnesota. It was on our May May cruise. And she did paint pouring. And I thought it would be fun if we did some ATCs with paint pouring. And any excuse to try something new, right? So there, but that new product, I will have that one as soon as I can get it. Hopefully I can get it. Sometimes it'll say back order for so long and then it actually comes in a little early, but we're watching it and I think it's gonna be cool. All right, I have made for myself this fancy gadget. Okay. This is a cardboard box. <laughs> that I cut the lid off of. Then I took a piece of the lid and I made this little lift right here. Now I'm noticing that my lift is not is not level. So I'm going to sit something under one side of this to make it level. I'm going to sit an acrylic block under it. Kind of level that up. That's much better. Okay. So all you want is to have a place. This is, I don't know. I've never done this. Let me take that back. I was telling somebody earlier. I did this way back in the day when I did like acrylic stuff. And when I worked at the craft store and I taught at the craft store, we did all kinds of stuff like this. So it's not new, new. This is just kind of a new, it's just, it's come back again. Everything comes back. We used to do this in Christmas ornaments. We used to do this for, we used to even dip Christmas ornaments, which were really cool to do that too. All right. So I have for myself some chipboard. This is just white on the top and it's the craft on the inside. I'm going to use the white because I think it'll make the paper really pop. That's still not very level. I'm going to lift that some more. I really should have done a better job on my little piece. <laughs> but I didn't. Well, Miss Eva said that's her kind of fancy gadget. 
a cardboard box. Oh, look, that's much better. Which means all of it's going to pull down here to this one corner, but we'll be all right. Now, again, not having ever done this before, I think where we're going to benefit is less is more, I think. Because I'm not trying to plop an entire cup full of this paint on here. I'm thinking if we mix some colors in this cup and pour it and then kind of tilt this around, I think we'll get a really good response from that. And I don't think I need very much for this little ATC. So we're just going to figure it out together. We're just going to play. So I'm going to mix some colors. I'm going to start with the pink family, which I would never normally do, but I'm going to. And you know what I didn't do? Take these little pieces out of here, but we can do that real quick. I didn't take the little protector pieces out, but that shouldn't be a big deal, <laughs> except it's sticking to my hand. All right, so here's one color I'm going to use. It's called Ballet. I'm just going to leave that one there for a minute. And then the next color is Sorbet. I'm probably going to take my glasses off in a minute if I want to keep reading these things. We're getting lucky being able to see them. All right, so there's Sorbet. And this kind of reminds me of ink dragging because you never know what you're going to get. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of fun to do something where it's just kind of freeing. There's no measurements. There's no, you know, anything you have to really follow. So this one is Orchid. And one more in the pink family is called Raspberry. Or raspberry, if you like the P to sound. Some people do. All right, let's take this little protector cap off. Ooh, look at that. That's a pretty color. I'm not even a pink fan. That one's gorgeous. All right, now for the fun part. Here's where we just learn together. Let's see if I can put this in the screen where you can see the colors I'm going to use too. Well, except for my big head being in the screen. <laughs> All right, here we go. So, I'm going to start with the lightest color pink, and I'm just going to put some into this cup. I'm going to do it where you guys can see it. I hope I'm doing it where you can see it. So, I'm thinking I'm going to put about that much in the bottom, which is about an eighth of an inch high. Then I'm going to go to the next color. Ah. Put some of this in. I'm, I can't really, oh, I drifted on my hand. I can't really move where you guys can see it that much, but I'm just going to go straight in. And let the color just land where it lands. And remember, I've not done this on these ATCs before, so I'm kind of going to have to learn. Um, I see that somebody's asking, can you use um, craft paint? You can, but you have to dilute it to make it run. These are pre-mixed paints, so they're made for this. All right, and this last one is going to get more. And um, I'm going to put a little more than that in there of that color because I like it. All right, now, of course we could like... Put this on here. Well, let's do it. Are you Here's, using cardstock? I'm using chipboard because I want it. I'm using it for an ATC, so I want it to be real um, sturdy. Okay. okay, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to put the little cup. I want to make sure it's all covered, and I'm going to flip this over. This ought to be so satisfying. I'm going to let that sit for just a second while I get this paint off my hand. I'll use paper towel. All right, and now I'm just going to see what happens by lifting the cup. Are y'all ready for that? Look, okay, cool. Now we're going to move this around and see what we get. I may not have put enough variation of color, but maybe I did. Let's get that to move a bit. I think maybe I should use the lighter color the most. All right, it's starting to mix around a bit. Kind of pretty. Hold on, I'll show you in just a second. I'm just going to do some rolling of it. That's really starting to separate right there and show me some color. Come on down here. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to spatula in this dude and see what we get. Oh, look. Now that's kind of fun. Look how the colors are starting to show like that. All right, let's turn it. This is kind of mesmerizing. It is. I think I want to use a little more paint. It's still a little thicker than I expected it to be. So in the next one, I think I'm going to use a little more paint. I'm going to tap it. Oh, yes, tapping is the thing. Oh, that's pretty, y'all. I'm even going to do something in a minute that might surprise you guys. Use your fingers. 
Well, I'm getting my fingers in here pretty good. I'm trying not to. I'm going to sit that back down. I'm going to go back to my spatula a little bit. I'm going to cover these edges with that. It's still pretty. Look how it looks when you put the swirl through it. Karen said she had to do the cross stir in the cup. Oh, I could do that too. See, I don't know. We're just going to play. I have plenty of these little cards for us to use today. Look at that. That's so pretty when you um do that. It's like the colors appear underneath. Look at that. Oh, I hope I don't get too bogged down in this just one. Because we have several to do. I think that's cool looking. Okay, here's the next thing I wanted to do. One second. I have got a bunch of my Nouveau um, glittery deals right here. <laughs> They're not glitter. What are these? <laughs> they, this is um, sequins. Sequins. I'm going to use some of these. I'm going to put some in my hand so I don't overdo it. So these are just the clear sequins. And I'm just going to drop some here and there. Not so glitter. So Amber says you should have worn gloves, exclamation point, exclamation point. I should have. I don't have any gloves. We might have some in the kitchen. I don't know. Look at this. I think this is pretty to add the little blingies. Now I'm going to scoot this little guy back on. He's trying to run away because remember, on our rules, I don't want anything hanging off the side. Look at that. That is so pretty. Oh, I could get real quiet doing this. Do you remember right off what the size is for the ATCs is? I do. It's two and a half by three and a half. Look at that. That is cool. All right. There is some paint running around the sides. Let me gather that up with my tool. I'm not too worried about that either because um, I'm going to put my little ATC backer on there anyway. So that won't really be a problem. And I'm going to sit these off to the side to dry. I'm just making sure there's not any big globs. I don't think there is. Y'all, this is really fun. You're going to want to come do one, Mander. I know. I was already thinking <laughs> that. All right. Let me put this out over here to pick them up. All right. So I got to touch it. Oh, yes, she's got to touch it. All right, I'm going to set that one to the side, and you're going to dry. And we're going to do another one. That was kind of fun, for real. Someone suggested lay another piece of chipboard on top and just squish it and then pull it apart. Oh, I like that idea, too. Let's try the swirl in the cup, and then we'll do that one. Don't let me forget. We want to try them all. Okay. I'm going to clean that off because that kind of stuck a little bit, so I'm just cleaning that little pedestal off there. Bring another one over. And what kind of paint are you using? This is the Color Pour. We actually have these in store. We have three different sets, and I've got more of this coming. I think it's really fun, so we do have more coming. I can use this one again for pink. I'm going to set that one over there for now. Let's do a purple. Uh, if Manda's doing one, she has to do blue. <laughs> That's what Miss Kathy had just said, and I Everybody said, knows yes, the rule. I was already thinking. Everybody knows the rule. If Manda's going to do one, it'll have to be the blue one. All right, so I'm going to do the from the purple family, and the first color we're going to use is this one called Galaxy. And then, I do think I'm going to use a little more paint, but I'm also going to do the swirl. Like, um, was Miss Kathy saying do the swirl? I think it was Kathy that uh, said that. I don't remember. Do the I'm end sorry. cup swirl. It's funny because the soap channel I watch, they do they swirl soap and they call it the in, in the pot swirl. So that's what that reminds me of. All right. So, I'm opening these up and then I'll tell you what colors they are. Okay, so this one in particular is called, can you read it? Midnight. <laughs> I couldn't read it. That's Midnight. And then this one is Cobalt. That's a pretty, I love Cobalt Blue. If, if a blue was going to be my favorite, it would be Cobalt. Mm -hmm. This one is Lilac. And this one is Galaxy. All right, let's use a new cup. Okay, I was asked, can I use regular craft paint to do this? I think you can. You just have to dilute it to a certain degree. And can you dip into the paint? Oh, sure. You can do anything you want. It does not matter. A lot of people, you know, a lot of people have all these rules that they set out for stuff. There's no rules. Just play. No rules. Just write. All right, there's one. I mean, there's rules if you're doing fine art painting and stuff like that, but we're not doing that. We're just playing. Oh, I didn't get that one opened very good. We'll just do a little few drops because it's pretty dark anyway. All right, now which one have I not used? This one. 
Dun, dun, dun. Let's add that one. Okay. Now I'm going to swirl it in here like was suggested. And I'm just going to use my pokey tool. <laughs> just paint and wipe it off, right? I can't see what I'm doing. That's pretty. Let's try to get some of that pale in there. This time I think I'm going to pour it instead of flipping it. Let's see what happens. Because then I can have a little more control over where it goes. Oh my goodness, this is fun. Look at that. Oh, you can't see from my hand. Kathy said there are no rules in crafting, just like there's no crying in crafting. That's right. Now, that you have to remember that. Some of us struggle with the crying part. This is cool. Oh, look at that. Janice said if you if you used a craft paint, you would need a pouring medium. Mm -hmm. Or guys, try it with water. <laughs> I mean, honestly, just try it. You're just you're just pouring a bunch of paint. Just see. All right, so this is kind of blobbed up, which I actually think is pretty, but I'm going to do this number all around. There comes the train again. Oh, this one's so pretty. Okay, so Tony asked, did they come as one or a set? There's four in a set. That's right. Look at that, how when you do this, it kind of shows the color underneath. That's cool. Ooh. <laughs> Bring that down like this. That is really neat. All right, so I got this side. I got that pretty much covered. I've seen several people comment you should start start with more paint. I know, but I don't want to waste it. <laughs> and it's a lot on here, so I'm moving it around. It might take me a little longer, but I don't feel like I'm wasting any this way. Very little is in my is in my box. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay, so look at that. That's stunning. Okay, I'm getting better. You always get better at the first one, right? Yep. Look at that. That's gorgeous. That's so pretty. All right, I want to pull some right here to cover that edge. And pull some right here. Y'all, that's really, really, really pretty. I don't want to mess with it too much. All right, we got to add some pretties to it because I like adding the little, um, <laughs> what my soap channels call embeds. When you add stuff like this, they call it embeds. All right, so... Let's add this time, oh, stars. Do you think silver stars to this yeah. one? Let's see, let's see. This is too fun. Miss Kathy, we don't have a sparkly mermaid, but if we did, that would be in mine. <laughs> That's true. All right, let's do these across like the Milky Way, like the galaxy, because they're little sparkly stars. <laughs> Terrence said paint pouring is wasteful. Embrace it, may make It is. That's the thing. <laughs> I know some of my viewers are going to be like, Oh, you're wasting so much paint. I know that's going to happen, but I, it's fun. Right? Look at that. Oh, the stars really, really set that off. Can you see that on camera? Can you see the stars good? I'm not good? To there yet. Oh, there's a delay, y'all. So I'm enjoying it, and she's not getting it till after me. All right, let's put these stars back in the Ooh, jar. That is gorgeous. Aren't the stars incredible? I love that. These, by the way, oh, I don't think we have these anymore. I don't think we have these in store anymore, these little glitters. They're just sequins and glitters is what those are. All right, so I'm going to sit this one to the side. Do you have any idea how long it takes to dry? Nope. Never done it. I can let y'all know. I can come back and tell you. I'm going to leave them overnight for sure. Because I'm doing them pretty thick, you know. Regina said it looks like a Van Gogh. Oh. Or a Van No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I like it better, quite honestly. <laughs> it's a Van No. <laughs> All right, let's do one with, I want to do pink and blue. I want to mix it up like pale and dark. So pale pink, dark purple, and I'm going to add in some green to that. Let's just do a three-color pour and see what we get. So let's put this guy over Brittany here. Brittany said it takes over a day for it to dry completely. I'm sure. It's super thick, y'all. Super thick. All right, I'm going to move this little cup out of the way. We can come a back Van to it and May. use it later. A Van May. A Van May not be the prettiest thing you ever saw. <laughs> Debbie said you knocked that one out of the park. Thank you. I love that one. It turned out really pretty. All right, I'm going to use more paint this time for my friends. I'm doing it for you guys. So here's the color I'm doing. i got to see how much I'm putting in there. Well, did I not know? Well, that's interesting. So, oh, I opened it and it wasn't there. It was stuck inside and then it, now it's there. All right. So I'm going to use a lot more paint this time. 
I love these pre-mixed bottles and I love that I can pour it from the lid and it's clean. So a lot more paint. Ugh, that's a lot. All right, let's use some pale pink. Put your sparkles in the plain part. What does that mean? Put your sparkles in, in the, the plain, plain part. part. Pretty on their own. All right, and then I I'm think I'm sure. gonna add this. Oh, dipping ATC in the paint in the box. That's a good idea too. All right, let's see what that's looking like. That's significantly more paint. Okay, so Brittany asks, says, I'm new to this channel. What do you normally craft if this is your first paint pour? Oh, gosh, what do I do? Y'all want to say? Say what you... All right, everybody here... I'm putting my little pokey tool over there. Everybody here, say what you watch my channel for. That'll help. I do a lot of different things, but mostly paper crafting. All right, do I want to pour or do I want to plop? Pour or plop? Pour or plop? Should we plop? Try the plop again. Okay, let's do a plop. Should we plop? Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Marlene, I believe we're out of the stars. I'll double check after the live to see if we have any. I know we I have two we'll... containers in the retail store. So if, mm -hmm. if you want to grab those, you can call the front desk and get those. All right. Now, I have seen people do this. I'm going to try it. I've seen people take the cup and lift it up and move the cup around before they lift it. I still didn't use as much paint as they probably want okay, me to so use. Okay, so most people are saying paper crafting. But many are saying things along the lines of everything and the giggles. The giggles. That's a good reason to come in. The giggles. I can't see that side. Oh, Ellen says, for you and the gang because you cheer me up. Oh, that's sweet. The southern accent. That's a good question because now I can hear what everybody comes <laughs> for. That's cool. Get over there. Get over there. I think I can probably even use twice as much paint next time. Twice as much as this and see what happens. I'm saving you some. Don't worry. I'm saving you some. Okay, I'll just have all the kinks worked out before you get to it. Next time, try the darks on the bottom of the cup first. You know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to put paint into it. Yep. It's my world, right? It's my world. Let's see what happens. Y'all tell me that all the time. It's your world. Do what you want. We'll watch. That's what they tell me. <laughs> I'm going to take this bottle and I'm going to just drip it. And <laughs> to support poor Vinny. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> we were just talking about that. We had some visitors today. We were just talking about poor Vinny. All right. Now let's see what happens if I move this around. Oh, I need a wiggler. I need one of those things they have at like Walmart that shakes paint. Hmm. <laughs> I know that you can't now, but if you get a chance later, you've got to see all these responses. Really? They've got you covered in Aww. here. Your journaling, <sighs> Bible study, every because you're a Christian. Oh. Your accent. That's a good reason to come in. Let's hear how poorly she's going to butcher the English, English language today. <laughs> Y'all, look at this. <laughs> I watch for Vinny. Just kidding. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> um, they're going so fast, I lost Can't keep it. Up. That's funny. Y'all know how to get me. Y'all, this is fun. Okay, if you're going to do this, you need toothpicks. Because that's fun to play in it like that. Robin asked, where is Vinny? He had to take his dad for a checkup today. So I'm trying to fill in and help. Look at this. How fun. I love it all. Messy. All right, on the next one, we're getting real bold. Can y'all believe I'm doing this to my pokey tool? It's cleaning right off. It's cleaning right off. Okay. It's just a pokey tool. It's just a pokey tool. It can be washed. Let's put in this one. Or be colorful. It's true. Let's do these little guys. They're called Diamond Harlequins. And I'm probably going to go heavy. Because I think they're pretty. Maybe just around the edges, like I'm distressing it with the diamonds. Pretty. Oh, I love it with the sparklies in it. It's not glitter either. <laughs> you know what? I would use glitter on this. Do you know why? Because when I'm done, I'm throwing this box away. I'm not trying to, yeah. to collect glitter. I would use glitter in this situation. Thank you, Miss Ellen. Do they watch for you too? She told me I was doing great. You are doing a good job. Okay. Let's put this over here to dry. When I get done, I'll slide all those back over here so you can see all of them. That one is gorgeous. I really like that one. All right, I'm going to do one more and save two for you. Okay. You want to get your hands dirty? 
I'll get my hands. You want to get in the camera? Well, it doesn't matter. All right, because I mean, I can turn the camera. I can take this rag and hang it over the camera, and then they can't see you. I don't carry it away. All right, so let's do another one. And this time, y'all said to use. Oh, no, y'all wanted me to pick it up out of here, huh? Let's see what happens. I'm just smashing it into the paint. Ooh, I love that. Look at that. That's Ooh, cool. I do. I like I'm gonna that. smash it where the glitter is too, and it'll pick up the glitter. Oh, yeah, that just gets better and better. Look how pretty that is in there. I may have to cut this off and use it. <laughs> cut the box up. Okay, that would be cool. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, look. That's cool. I'm going to leave that like that. I say I am. I really, I, I like that. I'm leaving that alone. Somebody will get this one, too. This is cool. I love it. Should oh, I put... Several tried to call dibs on that first one that was so oh, pretty. Really? That pink one is real um, pretty. Yeah. All right. I'm going to put something in here. Let me see what I've got that I can. Ooh. I, I suppose I should be looking, huh? What about. I'm trying to save the silver for you because I feel like you're going to want to do that with blue. Let's do some gold in here. <laughs> she knows me. Ooh, that's. Bleh. <laughs> <laughs> bleh. That's why people watch you. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Let's get some of that off of there. Oh, it's not the worst. It really reminds me of my grandmother. <laughs> Listen, my grandmother would have on like the most colorful shirt known to man and then throw a big chunky gold chain on it. That's what this reminds well, me Ms. of. Miss Karen's big on the bling too. Oh, Miss Karen. My stepmother loves the bling. That reminds me of them. All right, I got one more to do. How do I want to do it? A lot of paint. Y'all want me to really splash out? Let's use a lot of paint and see what happens. All right, put the dark color in first. No, the, what did they tell me to put in first? Put the dark into your cup first. Dark in first. All right, am I doing pink? I better do another. Let me do this dark green. I hadn't used that one yet. All right, this is fun. You know who would like this? Who? Melody Lane. Melody would love paint mm. pouring. She may have already done it on her channel. I don't know, but this is right up Melody's alley. Anything that's messy and colorful. All right, I'm going to use more, so I'm just going to pour it straight out. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay, put that lid back on. And then let's use some pink. Some pink. That's how you say it in the South. It's pink. What's your favorite color? Pink. There's some pink. That's a lot. Now, I have no idea because I am not a crafter. But it just crossed my mind. After that's good and dry, and you know it's good and dry, it would be cool to see if you could heat emboss a picture on top of it. Oh, yeah. When it's, yeah, you'd have to make sure it's real dry. I'm adding a really dark blue in there, too. I think that'll be a fun color. And then let's add a purple. Let's do this lighter purple. Ellen said she thinks Melody and Ken have both done it. See, I'm late. I'm always late. <laughs> All right, so I think I want to swirl this in the cup just a bit, and then I want to do the plop. Y'all think the plop is the way to go? I like the plop. It's just fun to flip it over. All right, so I'll put that right there. Pick this up. Put it on top. Make sure it's all covered. Do the plop. <laughs> That's probably not called the plop. Oh, it's coming out the side. I'm going to let it sit there a minute. Look at that. All right, let's move it around a little bit. From here, seeing it ooze out looks cool. amazing. That's cool. Look at that. All right, here we go. Ready? Oh, it's sucked down. Oh! <laughs> That's cool. These little cups are the most fun, too. Look at that beautimousness. That's so pretty. Wow. You knew it's the last one that would get really, really good. Last one for me because you're going to do some. I love those colors. That should have been me. That's so pretty. <laughs> Y'all, that's fun. Ooh, Sherry says, could you use a straw to blow the paint Sure around? you could. I don't have no straws in here. You asking me shall receive? Oh, she's going to get a straw. Y'all, this one's cool. Really pretty. What are we going to put in it? Some kind of sparkle. Or maybe nothing. Practice makes perfect. Per I almost said perfect. 
Pipes of Meg's carpet. Look at this gorgeousness. And I like how I'm able to move my um, box around now that there's a little paint on the underneath. Be Udemus. I'm watching it in the camera. It's very fun to watch, isn't it? I can see why people like to watch this. Let's see if we can blow it around. She's bringing that in. I didn't catch all of what Amber said, but she was hollering, Stop, y'all are killing me. Oh, <laughs> look. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. Oh. That's cool, but I need to come from the other way because I'm getting some of the color. I'd, I'm getting too much of that green. This is Miss Jones' favorite. I think mine too. They're saying no bling and no sparkle on this one. Just Nothing it on alone. it, just this? That's what they say. Y'all, I want a little more bullet dark blue in there. I think it's pretty. I'm going to put some on and then blow it around. Now, Candy said maybe a smallish jewel in the pink corner. Okay, let's see what happens. Ooh, ha 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 ha. I love it. Okay. Oh, this is cool. I wish I had like a little air blower thing. I bet going, hold on, I got to do this. Sherry says, I can't wait to see them after they dry. The cells start to show up. That's the quietest I've been on my channel in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. I love that. Billy said it will keep changing until it's dry. This is cool. Now, I will tell you, this does not have the cell mixant in it. That's the thing that's on back order that I can't get till May. So these may not because they're super thick because I wasn't able to add that cell mixant. But if you're going to do a paint pour, just do some video research and look and see what you can mix in. You probably could, you probably could mix in like glycerin. I don't know. I don't know. I don't do this. So I'm just trying it today. Um, this is really cool. I like this one. Let me clean off the edges because it's a little thick on the edges now. It's probably going to be stuck to the little thing I've made here. Um, you know who would love to do this? Caleb. That had crossed my mind also. Mm -hmm. I could totally see him doing it. All right, let's move this one over. That one's gorgeous. And thick. That one is thick. That one's going to take a while to dry. Y'all got to get a paper towel. That's going to take a while. Okay. You ready? Yes. Okay, there's one bad thing. We only okay. have one straw. <laughs> oh, <laughs> We're going to use a straw. Um, Get this off my hands. Oh, I'll just take my uh, wash rag with me. All right, here we no, go. wait a minute. Switching up. Okay, let me think a minute. You're gonna have to do the talking though. Okay. When I play, I don't talk. That's fine. I'll I'll commentate what you're doing. I'll just look okay. at you in the comments and not the picture. Okay. All right. So you see um, the? Do you see your little card? Yeah. Aren't I they do. pretty? Oh, I'm looking. <sighs> the dark blue with all the stars is my favorite. So yeah, far. that's my favorite too. Okay. I did it white side up, but you can do what you want. But I think the white side makes the color pop better. And get you a fresh cup so we don't mix too much. Might as well get your hand dirty. You're going to. <laughs> You're going to get your hands the dirty. Day I wear my new white pants. No, I think Miss <laughs> Jones said, "Are you sure?" You, I think we can. Uh, oh, that's true. Um, you want to put that put that clean one, that clean green one on your lap. <laughs> no, it's good. so clean. I'm Look good. at it. That clean rag. It's not clean. Miss Jones said she wonders if we could reuse the box. I think we totally could. I think it's absolutely doable. I'm trying to get all the paint off my hands. Y'all know, right? <laughs> Okay, dip another one in the leftover paint because it would still be the same colors. That's true. We might can do. Actually, I can dip some to take it all up anyway, you know, before it dries. That'll be fun. Um, I want to come out good. Let's see. Okay, 
There is nothing Hello, in there, Gips. but it's not coming out. Why is it not coming out? Oh, that lid, I think it was in the top two and I missed it. Oh, feel it in there? I, I think I just missed it. Maybe. Don't let it fall on your pants. <laughs> oh, gosh. Do it over the trash can lid. You're making me nervous. I'm okay. <laughs> Are I'm you okay. sure? Yeah. Okay, okay. Do you need the wet one? I'm okay right You're now. You're going to get dirty anyway. I'm going to get dirty anyway, so I'm okay right now. All right, put wax paper in the bottom of the box to catch the colors and then make skins out of it. Y'all are way too advanced for me. <laughs> I know, right? I am just playing today. I'm sure I'll do this again. I want to do it on something else. So y'all just, y'all know it. Y'all know how this works. I don't even watch the paint pour videos much. I catch them on Facebook more than YouTube. Um, whenever I'm in the like, you know, the the video world of Facebook where you get in one video, then the next one, the next one, the next one. So. Oh, I guess I know the Teddy is right? from the Netherlands. Hello from the Netherlands. These are um, glossy finish. Somebody asked if they were matte or glossy. They're glossy. Mm, Deborah says put a whole sheet of paper in the box and then cut it up for, oh, look at you. Amanda always does something different. She will <laughs> never, ever do what she's shown. <laughs> Nine times out of ten, what I'm shown doesn't quite click. So I take what I do get and then just run with it. If you you can try moving that that or the box, either one, and tapping helps too, or at least it did for me. Thank you, Michelle. She got a cricket and a scan and cut and did them both right out of the box because she watched me. It's so funny. I had some subscribers here today and we were talking and we said, I need to do an out of the box challenge. And it is where you get the machine and take it out of the box and you make a project and you post it and I get do a giveaway. Um, I want people taking their stuff out of the box. By the way, uh, Brenda would love that white space you have in there. She's all about white space. I am too. I think it's pretty. And it's it's not moving. So I guess it's meant to be. Can you do a canvas next time? I don't know. Canvases are, they're they're a little much to commit to, I think. <laughs> we talked about that in a, um, we had a MadeItCon meeting yesterday, getting stuff ready for MadeItCon, and I was like, canvases are a lot for me to commit to. Can we do something off the canvas? Um, I wonder what, ooh, from those coasters. We have some of those down there. We could try that. Ocean colors, that's Mander. She's an ocean girl. Are you going to put some in that? Because it, it's not going to stick without glue. Okay, you're putting something. I just want to make sure you didn't just put it there for nothing. Okay, Amanda, that's how I am in card class. Never like everyone else. I don't even do it intentionally. It just kind of ends up that way. Sorry, Teddy. We don't have any way to do that. Somebody, Teddy's saying they want to join the um, ATC swap, but they don't have dollars. We knew this wouldn't be something everybody could participate in. And a lot of people said, why don't you run it through your store? I don't want to run it through my store because it's not something that I am that I account for. This is something we're doing that we don't actually make any money off of. And then the money goes to charity. And I just don't want to have that in my store and have to account for it. Plus, our store, and this sounds crazy, but we have so many customers in the store that some of this stuff can get bogged down in there. So that's why we're doing it this way. And again, I'm sorry. I know. I wish I could make it where every single person could, could benefit easily, but there's just no way to do that. When and where is Made It Con? The next Made It Con is April twenty April of 2020, the year 2020, and it is in Clanton, Alabama. Second, third, and fourth. I guess I can type that in. April. Second. Oops. Second, third, and fourth. I got to tell something, too. Y'all going to love it. We have got some really cool stuff planned. Okay. I had wondered if mixing this glitter from the bottom, if it would come up, but that was, was kind of a waste. It didn't no, it's like not that. a waste. It was fun. Was it fun? Yeah. Then it wasn't a waste. Then made my five-year-old scan and cut in the box has company now with my Cricut I bought three months ago. If Is it in the box too? I'm telling y'all, I'm going to have a challenge and make y'all get them out of the box. Amanda, that looks like the ocean from the cruise, Melinda said. <laughs> they know me so well. I was actually thinking of our watercolor class of making Oh, lines yeah. And... That's a good idea. Your hands match your tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> Show your tattoo in the thing. Look. Well, I mean, if you want to. Yeah, but look, there's there the go. colors there. And then bring it back and there's your colors there. <laughs> That's 
fun. Now, my nails were already blue. That's true. Oh, this won't mess up your nails because the blue will blend in. We could paint poor fingernails. Yeah. Well, you know they do that. That's where they make some of those skins they were talking about for, too. That's really cool to do it. Or marble. Um, I had a lot of people do the water marbling. That would be really cool. Um, we're going to paint all of everything. The address to send the ATCs. There's a blog post. Let me see if I can get the blog post and link it for you guys. I'm really trying to be fancy. Y'all should be proud if I figure all this out. I never get to do this side of the job. Let's see. Go to blog. Go to blog. And then you're doing it under my name so I can take credit. Oh, that's true. You sure can. Let's see. March motivation. There it is. I found that. All right. So far, so good. Let's see how this goes. Oh, no. I've lost the chat. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> March motivation info. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it alone. I've got too much going on. Or enough going on. Oh, there's a lot of capitals. Hold on. Oh, a lot of capitals. Okay, Michelle says, that looks like Starry Starry Night, which is by Van Gogh. Um, <laughs> Eva, we had a watercolor class on the cruise. We have watercolor class scheduled for Maidicon, and we just did watercolor class on my channel. Uh, was it last Saturday I did watercolor class with Brenda? I think I did. I did. Check that was. out because you'll learn a lot. The one before. You'll learn a lot from that video with just Brenda. And um, I'm looking around your room <laughs> to see what you can do. <laughs> just see if anything else grabs me. Hey, take that. Well, you may not want to do it. The spatula on the um, uh huh. What's that thing called? The pokey tool. Uh -huh. It kind of moves the underneath. You might just want to test it in a spot and see. Like if you slide it, do you see the underneath color? That's what it was doing for my... Look, isn't that cool? How it brings the blue, the mm -hmm. darker color out. To Saturday before last, Kathy said, Sherry, get your skin and cut out of the box. Guys, all right, I'm going to preach. Why spend that much money and have something that works that cool and not use it? Now, I get it. I'm the same person. I get it. I do that too. But I want, I want to start... What is it called? Like a... Y'all tell me the word. I want to start a revolution. No longer buying tools and not trying them. That's what I want to do. Because listen, it's just paper. Just try it. You might fall in love. Lisa says, if I send nine ATCs, will I get nine back? You will. Just make sure you send the postage for each one. It's $3 per three or $5 in the UK. Uh... We've already started getting some in this week. I got a brand new Creatopia from 10 years ago. In the box! You guys! <laughs> 10 years in the box? Okay, listen. Here's something else. Let me tell you guys. Number one, if you're going to buy something that you're not sure you want to keep, you definitely want to try it before your return window is up. Number one. Number two, you want to try it before your warranty runs out. And for my Cricut fans, that's a whole year. <laughs> And if the box, if it's staying in the box and you open it and there's some manufacturer defect, they're not responsible after a year. Now, Cricket's a great company and typically they take care of you. But even so, do you want to tell them, well, I bought it three years ago and never opened it till now? You, you know, okay. come on, guys. I think I'm going to leave that one alone. Oh, because Mary says she gets distracted with the new thing. <laughs> okay, Tammy, taking it out of the box is only step one. <laughs> Is that your first one? Uh-huh. All right. That's beautiful. That, that actually does look like Starry Starry Night. It's maybe, hard to tell. Maybe you should put some stars in the what would be the sky part. You would have to choose what would be the sky part. That would be cool. It's hard to tell in camera, but you can see my little waves. Yep. It's beautiful. right there. It's gorgeous. Uh, where's this? Let me do silver stars. That white don't show too good. I sure hope eyes. this paint doesn't stain her hands. Oh, well. It's coming off me pretty good. I mean, it'll wear off. <laughs> hey, I've actually been using... Um, Look, Susan says stain and things at home this last couple of weeks. Well, so. yeah, Susan said, "Okay, if you all have fancy machines, take them out of the box, please." Uh, Amanda, it's done perfect. Connie said, "Thank you." Uh, Bernice said, "Oh my, I just got here. What a mess." <laughs> well, <laughs> just break my heart. Your eight-year-old wants to do something. That's what you need to do. I'm. Trying to figure out a way I could let my five-year-old granddaughter. Maybe it's an outside project. Oh wow! A year from first use. Come on. So okay. there. So she said that Cricket said that their warranty is a year from first use. So I can buy it, leave it in the box for five years, and then they'll warranty me a year after I open it. That's interesting. 
Okay. I'm done. The messier you are, the more fun you're having. Uh, you should do a video on the fuse tool. I am not a fuse tool fan. I, I mean, it's, I just, I've seen people use it. I've gotten projects that have used it and it's not perfected yet to me. So I just haven't messed with it, but other people love them. So that's just me. Um, I did open the top flap of the Cricut Explorer. <laughs> They're killing me. <laughs> uh the bling topped it off. Love it. Thank you, Tanya. Thank you, everyone. I think I'm done because I don't know what else to do. It's one of those moments of stop now before you ruin it. I'm reading comments. I was reading about everybody not taking their stuff out of their box. <laughs> you know, if I could do that with chocolate, if I could buy chocolate and leave it in the box. I know. <laughs> exactly. All right. You want to trade back? Sure. I know you want this wet rag now. I'm going to leave it yes. over here for you. If we could buy boxes of chocolate. But it, but it is my years, colors, so. At least it is pretty. If you want to go wash, you can. That rag, you'll just have to work it a little bit. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, have any of you guys figured out how I can buy chocolate and leave in the box for 10 years and not eat it? Um, Why would you want to? Look at this. I know. I thought I had some water in here. I guess I don't. We probably put that here, in, the, put in that some water. Here. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Okay, I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'm going to bring over what we did and let y'all see them. We get through, everybody's going to be back here and say, my turn. My turn, my turn. We might try it with those coasters. That'd be fun. Somebody asked if we were going to get other colors in. Yes, they are on order. When I ordered, these were the ones I could get. And we do have some more coming. And I have the starter kit coming, which I'm really excited about because the starter kit has the, the mixer in it, the one that makes the sales appear. That's the one I'm really excited about. Look at your... um. <laughs> it's all blue. <laughs> That's cool. All right, I'm going to slide them back over. And we can decide which ones we like the best. Look at that. I agree, Amber. Leaving chocolate in the box ever <gasps> is wrong. That's not going to happen around here. I'll just be honest with y'all. Not with me and Amber and all of us around here. Not going to happen. All right, this one right here is leaking a little bit. I'm going to put this under it so it don't leak on my cutting mat. Look at those. That was really fun, wasn't it? And I wouldn't have done that unless I was doing ATCs today. You know, I would do it on wood or something. Yeah. I actually thought it'd be pretty to um, do it on a shadow box and then decorate the shadow box. Yeah. Oh, she just got to see them. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's a delay. They really are very pretty, aren't they? I love them. A lot of fun. Very therapeutic. Don't have to know what you're doing, obviously, because I didn't. <laughs> and we have a mess to clean up. <laughs> oh, I don't do messy, y'all. I'm going to stop cleaning. I'm, I'm sitting here scrubbing. Scrubbing. Her, her we don't do tool. messy. We don't do messy. All right, guys. I'm going to move these out of the way. Get them started drying. We're going to go to our Crafter After Show. If you're new and you've never um, been to the Crafter After Show, that is where we get to talk about all kinds of fun stuff. And I have a lot of stuff to talk to you guys about. I have an answer from last week's question I had for you on Thursday. Or at least I have what I think I'm going to do. Um, I have an update for next week. Something I want to tell you is going to happen next week. Um, we have some new product. We have stuff that's been sent in. Um, seems like there's a whole bunch of stuff I have. So you want to stick around for the crafter after show. And I bet I don't have a link to put in here to it, do I? I will in just a moment, but hold on. I've lost. I had a question and I lost okay, it. Okay. She's looking for a question. Um, Belinda asked, what paper did I use? I just used chipboard. This is the regular chipboard we carry in the store. And I just cut it down to A2 size, um, chipboard. And I'm just going to let it dry. It's probably going to bow. I'm okay with it bow and I'll flatten it back out after it's dry, um, but it probably will. So, okay. Cheryl asks Gemini Junior or Empress. Uh, never tried either. I don't have a don't have an answer. Wish I did. Um, I'm looking into some machines because I want to have one. Because now that they're going to stop using making the cuddle bug, I'm looking for one for myself, and I'm looking into some stuff. But right now, I don't have an answer, so I have to be fair with that one. All right, guys. Um, it will take a minute for cleanup. <laughs> But yeah. then we'll be back. Can you get the link for him? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you hear that sound over there? I did. <sighs> Something's in the corner. I think we hear the boys moving around. You think? Oh, maybe that's it. Sorry. Let me find this. Love the top middle one. This one's my favorite. Love that one. Miss Eva. I love this one, too. She loved them, especially Amanda's. I love Amanda's, too. I love... The I love pink is all. cool. Considering that's the first one I ever did, that's not bad. This one is my least favorite, but that's because I put that silly gold on there. 
Um, and then that one. Michelle, I know that's probably going to freak some people out. I really don't mind that it's on the paper towel. I know it's going to dry to it, but I've got a backer I'm putting on these anyway. So if you're doing this and you want to protect the backs, you might want to put it on wax paper so no one will stick to. But I'm going to be peeling these off anyway and putting a backer on them. So it's not going to matter. Okay. I just posted a link. All right. There's the link to the Crafter After Show. I'm going to move these out of the way, reset, and we'll come right back and we'll, we'll see you guys in the Crafter After Show. So we can talk about anything we want in the Crafter After Show. All right, we'll see you in just a few minutes. Bye. Bye.